Hello, so we are back, and this time, this time we have a nice t-shirt, huh? So what do you think about this? Uh, I got a present on this morning from uh, one uh, from one one of this channel subscriber, Bill. So I'll say thank you, Bill, for the for the t-shirt and for the cup. Yeah, we have the cup. I will show you the cup on the tomorrow live stream. Tomorrow is Sunday, right? Yeah. So what do we have here? We have a nice level to repair. Uh -huh. Check here. Ryzen 7 and Radeon graphics. Asus uh, VivoBook. Now, the problem with this one, this laptop is coming from a computer shop, okay? Now, the computer shop, semi two laptops. So, we are looking right now, Asus VivoBook, fold, power zone, does not charge. Also, the computer shop sent a present, boards for you for parts. And this is a MacBook board. Pretty nice people, you know what I mean? That's how you send a job. You send a job, and you send a present with the job. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't understand why the people are so nice in me. Anyway, the problem with this laptop, like we've seen, the laptop it is coming on. Let's see if it's coming on. I can't see any... No, I can't see anything. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Let's plug a charger and check. 19 volts. Good. Let's plug the charger. And the laptop probably it's on or is charging. We have the charging light here and the power on light. So I believe the, the actually the laptop it is on. Yeah, you see? The laptop it is on, but the question is the laptop is charging? That's the question. Huh? Let's power off the laptop. Yeah, we have Windows. Let's power off. Oh, it's a brand new, new Windows. Okay, that's fine. So we power off the laptop, and the laptop is taking no power, and that's not normal, right? I mean, the battery should charge, right? Pressing the power button, unplugging the charger, and the power goes off. Let's open the laptop quickly. Now, what we are checking first? Hmm? First... We are checking, this is a Asus, if we don't have that uh, funny charging port, yeah? Uh, I see no Acer and Asus charging port, where actually the charging port has a pin, which, which it will detect if the, if the power connector is all plugged in. Then we're going to check the first and the second MOSFET, okay? That's a must. Okay, so the laptop is open. We have a nice motherboard. And yeah, indeed, we have that tricky charging port. So check here, yeah? On the charging port, you have minus, okay, ground. And you have plus, and then you have two pins. One is ground, and one is that pin, which it will sense if the connector is all plugged in. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show you how to check. You plug the charger, okay, and the laptop is coming on straight away. Here you can see the uh, you can see the lights here. The laptop it is on. Let me shut down the laptop first. I mean, it's not even important, but let's shut it down. Okay, the laptop it is off, and let's check together the voltage on that particular pin. So on this pin is zero okay and on this pin is zero lol okay so the problem is not the charging port and of course here we have 90. good that's that's okay that's not a problem that's not an issue so what do we have to check now is the first mosfet and second mosfet So here we have a big power rail. It's not here. Okay, we have to take out the motherboard because I believe the first MOSFET and the second MOSFET is under this board. Okay, so the board it's out. We have this cable left. Yeah, we do have. Check here, yeah? Charging port. We have the plus line is going to first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and then we have a current sensor, current resistor, sorry. 
the RAM, we have uh, onboard RAM, also we have a socket. Yeah, let's check the first two MOSFETs. Good, so we have the first MOSFET, and the first MOSFET is good. LOL. And we have the second MOSFET, and the second MOSFET is good. <laughs> the first MOSFET, we have 19.5, and here we have 19.7. Okay. On the gates, we have 25, and here we have 25. So the input circuit is fine. It's no issue with the input circuit. Okay, you know what? I was wrong. So actually here, both pins are connected to ground. Yeah, so here we don't have that charging port where it will detect if the charger is all plugged in. Okay, so on this point, uh, we don't have too many options left. I mean, what do we have here? We have a diode, we have the charging circuit here. Circuit. Yeah, let me correct myself, someone uh, right on the chat. So here we have zero volts. Here we have 19. So I believe the charging circuit is good. Circuit, sorry. Here we have the BQ chip. But I don't think anything is faulty here. I will check the, the charging MOSFETs. Let's check them. But this MOSFET is good. This MOSFET is good. Checking the gates, all good. So as you can see here, we have no fault. So what is the problem? The problem could be the battery. Okay, sorry, but how can we know if the battery is faulty or not? Very simple. Let me grab the power supply. Okay, so I will lower uh, the current and the voltage yeah like that and yeah yeah that should be fine and we are coming with the power supply on the battery connector here and here and it's taking no current at all you can see and that's exactly what i said on the beginning can be a firmware a battery firmware issue not sure if this is a genuine battery because I can't see any writing here. Maybe the writing is on the other side of the battery. Can be. But let me take out the battery. And let's try have a, to have a look. But how can I... Okay, how we have a screw here. Let me grab my uh, battery analyzer and let's see what's wrong with this battery. Right? yeah okay so we connect the battery to the nlba we have the software on the screen and the issue is one of the cell you can see so the battery it is locked has a bad balance uh, we can see one cell has uh, one cell has like 3.8 and one cell has 1.1 now you'll say sorry play it in the bin it's i use battery check on the cycle count yeah can you see the cycle count one cycle count now computing the health of the battery now this must be must be something wrong you know actually the voltage can be a firmware error 2020 battery i don't believe this is the health of the battery with one cycle count yeah i i, I can't believe that no so what can be wrong here good question it's not much what we can do. The only things what we can do is to open the battery and try to check the cells manually. Uh, one cell can be like what he's saying on the screen, 1.1 volts, but also can be a, a BQ firmware error. So let's open the battery and have a look inside. Okay, let's try to do an incision. Surgical. We have the plastic frame. But the plastic play frame can be cut uh, easily. Perfect. Mm 
Now we do have access inside the cells. Let's check the cells. So this cell has 3.8 and this cell has indeed 1.1. So we need a 3.8 volts here. The plus is here, the minus is there. Let's come with some current. Plus, minus. Yeah, 4.7 amps is about the right amount of current on this uh, cell. Okay, well, we're about there, yeah? We can see it's still a poor balance, that's fine, but the battery is locked. Let me try quickly something. We have to power off, reset, power on. Good. Uh, Richie Pinfo. And the charger and uh, discharging is disabled. Okay, let's uh, unseal. Richie Pinfo, we have PDF status, we have uh, we have an error there, you can see it. Uh, good, clear chip errors. Good, Richie Pinfo. Now we have no error, you can see PF status, we have zero, zero, zero. But the charging and discharging is still disabled. So I'm going to seal back the battery and power off, go into the battery info. The battery it is unlocked. You can see it. Uh, it is unlocked, but the charging and discharging is still disabled. That can be from a good reason. And the reason is the fuse, yeah? So let's go and check for the fuse. Where we can find the battery fuse? It's not on this side of the board, right? No, probably it's on the other side of the board. So what do we have to do? Is another incision here and here. And yeah, the battery is open. Yeah, we do have a fuse here. You can see it? That one. So this is a special fuse, yeah, it's a fuse having a heater. So the heater is connected from here to the plus, here is the plus line. And when the BQ chip is connecting this pin to ground, the heater, it will heat the solder from inside of the fuse and it will melt it. So let's open the fuse and have a look. Yeah, the fuse. The fuse is gone. Yeah, so this is flux, yeah? The fuse is good. No, the fuse is burned. Here, check here. So you see the solder got melted here, but not here, only here. Okay, that's fine. So all we have to do is to solder uh, the fuse. That's how the fuse is made with solder and rosin inside. Just a little bit of solder wire. Perfect, yeah? So now the fuse is how it was from the factory. Now the question is, the battery will work? Hmm? The battery is unlocked. Uh, how we can test it? Very simple, charge and we are start charging the battery. And if we are seeing the current, check there the current, you can see it. So actually now the battery is accepting the, the charging current. And you can see the current is going up. You can see the blue line, that's the current. Okay, reading the battery, the cells are balanced now, are uh, only three millivolts difference between the cells. I believe everything is uh, is right this time. 
I will say, let's plug the battery into the laptop and let's test it to see if it's working. We done a good job or perfect, like brand new. Huh? Okay, the board is back in place. Let's plug the battery. Perfect. Let's plug the charger. And probably the laptop, it will come on. Yeah. No, it's not coming. Yeah, it is on. Sorry, it is on. You can see the light here. So I'll shut down the laptop. Yeah. So the laptop is off. We have the charging light and we have 1.8 amps onto the battery. You can see that's the charging current. That's all is going into the battery, 1.8 amps. So the laptop, it is charging fine. Now powering on the laptop. The laptop, it is coming on. The current is going like over two amps. And let's unplug the charger, yeah? So unplug in the charger. And the battery is uh, holding is holding the charge. Obviously, the battery is discharged, so we have to charge it. But it is holding the charge, so the battery is providing uh, power to the laptop. Now, I'm happy I helped this customer. This is a fixed, uh, fixed laptop, it's repaired. Why this happened? Why this fold happened? My opinion is probably the laptop sit uh, for a long time. And one cell died. Why one cell died and not the other? Hard to say why, because the battery has one cycle. Yes, this, this is a brand new battery. It is possible the BQ chip because obviously even that uh, power management chip need power, it is possible to be connected to one cell. And that's the reason why over the time one cell got discharged. But I can't say that for sure. Okay, I left it a little bit on charge. Let's check the voltage. And we have 8.2 volts. So those are two cells. That means the battery fully charged is like uh, uh, 8.4 volts. So the laptop, it is working fine. I'm happy I helped this customer. I will say uh, thank you for watching. I will put it all back together myself because there are a lot of screws. You know, don't forget like, subscribe if you like the video, of course. And see you on the next one. Bye.